One of the best memories I had with him was in high school playing basketball. And it was at the tip, the beginning of the game. We tip the ball, he gets the ball, he runs down, dribbles all the way down with four guys chasing him. And I saw all four guys, they're all taller than him since Tim is short, right? Well, all four of them surround him, you know, and we're, I thought he was going to get blocked. You know, we're all like, oh man, he's going to eat it. And I see the ball go up, and he scores, and they see him running down with the biggest smile going, yeah, I made it, I made it. And so, that's one thing I remember about Tim Kwan. I think the first time I met Tim Kong was the beginning of my junior year in high school. It was like 1998. Um, the first thing I thought was, well, Mountain Dew and ketchup. <laughs> and I just always remember him having a really big grin on his face and staring a lot, actually. Yeah, one thing I remember about him, Tim, revolves around basketball. And he would, um, one thing we, we would try to do in high school um, and emulate him is Tim would, we would see him at the adult leagues. He'd always um, fake. Um, charges. He would just go, and he'd run up to the guy and he'd just Whoop! and then he'd fall down and then he'd get back up and he'd be like, Ruff, where's the foul? Where's the foul? I remember always growing up with you asking like, you know, when are you gonna cut your hair? Or always making fun of your your diehard love for the Chargers yes, and that, uh, yeah, that they always lose and stuff. Just one question, I've always wondered this in high school. When you were a single guy, what were you thinking driving a white minivan? <laughs> Did you have all the groceries that you needed to drive around or something? I was in AOK for only half a year. I just saw, I mean, I didn't know like as, as long as most people, but you no, know, from the from that half a year that I've known, this man is sweet. I mean, every time I go into AOK, I see his big smile, all teeth, and just warms up my heart. It's like, this is the place I want to be at, you know? It's like, and I'd like to thank you for coaching us because, yeah, we won yesterday and, like, oh, yeah, everything's all great, so. I just want to thank you just for always encouraging me, especially when I was frustrated with our committee sometimes when people weren't talking. You were just always there just to keep me going. Um, and just also during those really long council meetings um, when sometimes, you know, my ideas wouldn't be heard, you would, you know, sometimes take me aside and just, um, just know that you were listening and that, you know, that what I said didn't matter. Uh, his favorite lesson I think I remember is that lesson I am third. You know, God first, other second, and I'm third. And that's one thing I think Tim Kwan really displays in his life. You know, he's always putting others before him, definitely putting God before him. I was always kind of hesitant being a counselor, feeling like I was afraid to speak and they okay, or um, going on these missions trips, he would ask me to drive in Mexico and all these daring things I probably never really would have done. But Tim was always very encouraging and patient with me as a counselor. And, um, I learned a lot about Tim, about how to be uh, just patient with people and how to uh, really communicate with my fellow high schoolers in committing time. And one thing I've always appreciated uh, about Tim over the years is that he's given me many opportunities to serve in high school, uh, whether it be helping out as a camp counselor or uh, just driving people to missions. Or... I just really want to thank you for so many years of uh, just being there as a counselor and as a friend. And when I became a GA counselor, I just really appreciate um, you coming alongside and um, not treating me like a kid anymore, but really um, showing me the ropes of what it takes to be a counselor. I guess just as a counselor and as a leader, um, I have a lot of respect for you, just um, seeing how much you love and how much you sacrifice for the high school guys, so thanks a lot. And I was just glad to have Tim there um, all the time. I guess if I could put one word on it, it would be his faithfulness. Um, even now, like just to seeing people go from here to there, a lot of turnover, people changing jobs, coming back to church, a lot of faces I don't know. Um, it was always cool just to see Tim, that he was always there, he was always the AOK sponsor. When you think of AOK, -OK, you think Tim, they're synonymous. Actually, Tim, I just want to tell you how much we appreciate your dedication to AOK -OK for all the years that you put in. And 
just for being the backbone behind everything that happens and always fighting to make things happen. Um, thanks for serving, Tim. Um, hope you have um, a good time off and um, find where the Lord will place you next. We just like to say, Uncle Tim, thank you for all the dedication and service that you've shown to the many, many high schoolers at our church. And thanks for all the enthusiasm that you gave to AOK and all the love and support that you've given us. We really appreciate all your encouragement and support that you've given to us and will be with us forever. And may God continue to bless you and all that you choose to serve in the future. And we love you, Uncle Tim! And